Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the lab, playing some vanilla Minecraft here on Condrix patron server. That's right, we're back here because, well, I built this townhouse in the last episode, and this episode we're going to build our country manor. That's right. Let's get started. That's right. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be doing, well, here's the second episode. I originally just figured I would do one house, but here we've got, we've got our place in town, right? Right here behind us. We've got the actually additions house, and then we are going to build something on the outskirts of town. So uh, as we, as we get into this, what we need to do is maybe put back on some armor and you notice I've got a diamond helmet and then we've got some of this other stuff here and we've got a bunch of other items. I've got I've built that diamond axe up because I've been using that. And let's bring back our HUD, shall we? And you can see we got a couple of deaths to report. I was over here harvesting some trees and wouldn't you know it, I, I don't have Feather Falling 4. I'm used to Feather Falling 4 on pretty much every other server or map that I'm on. I just haven't taken the time to do it. We've still got our iron boots. And I fell off one of the trees a couple times. Yep. And uh, and yeah, that was that, that's that one right there. And then over here, this was, uh, who's it? Uh, Arden Crest was giving me a tour of his place. And I've actually got a visit over here. Um, and he's got a woolly vader. And I just decided to drop down. And that's fine. It's got a little slime block at the bottom. But again, Feather Falling 4. I hit space or hit shift. I should have hit space. And there we go. Both uh, do soap the great fell from a great height. Yes. So <laughs> anyway, I think what we can do now is go into journey map and we can um, we can remove these. Yes. Okay. There we go. We're good. All right. Now the next order of business, our house out here. Oh, time. Uh, you know what? Let's take a bed with us. And I believe I've got one up here in, I love it when I hit the speed beacon. And we've got, uh, we've got some other stuff going on here. Now, uh, keep in mind, this is Kondrick's patron server. He runs it as he so chooses. And he's got something on here that lets you get mending infinity bows. And so, uh, Ardent gave me one as a gift, but, uh, but yeah, so. Here we are. This is the place where I had originally said I'm going to stake a claim. I think I'm going to keep the claim, but uh, we're going to do a different house uh, elsewhere. Yeah, this one, I don't believe. Let's, let's bring this up. We need a space of three chunks by three chunks. That's one, two, and three, right? One, two, yeah, three. Uh, yeah, and I want to keep, oh, if I'm going to build something here on this plot of land, I want to keep that lava lake open. So we're not going to build anything right here, right now. Our country manor is going to go elsewhere, and I haven't quite figured out where that's going to be. We've got some construction out that way, but we need a three chunk by three chunk area. Yes, this is going to be a large house, large house. Uh, I've got the plans already put together in my creative testing world. And, uh, and yeah, so, um, the other thing that we need to do is maybe get back to the casa over here in the town and let's get rid of those chunk borders. I'm going to show you a little bit about what we have collected so far, just to give you an idea of what's going on here. I really like having a house now. It's my mine for some stone stuff, but... Uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, materials we're going to need. Yep, that's that's part of it. That's part of it. That's part of it. And then a little bit here. I've got room in between here because we've still got the stone items to go. And that's what I need to collect now. So I am going to go off camera, collect the rest of the materials for this thing. And then I'm going to find a spot. Okay. And I'll bring you back once we're ready to start the building project. See you in a bit. Well, a big thank you to 
Ardent Crest for letting me dig into his supplies, especially for the stone that's going to be required for our upcoming mansion build. Let's take a look at our, our, our supplies. We got four double chests there and then just a single chest right there, but they are packed to the gills almost. This has a little bit extra right there, but, but certainly we've got our work cut out for us. And you see that white concrete? We had to make that from white concrete powder. That's what this is. So I made myself a little concrete, uh, concrete conversion thing here. So I just load up the concrete powder over here in my offhand. And then with my pick on this side, I just hold down both the right and left mouse buttons. And then that converts the concrete over. And so there's a little chest back here. We've got a hopper right there to collect all of the concrete that just goes flying every which way. But yeah, there we go. This isn't all the way full, but we've got a lot of materials. All right, so next order of business. I mentioned this in the last clip, I believe. Uh, the original idea was to put a house on this hill. And as nice as that hill is, uh, I don't think it's going to... Well, I know it's not going to be sufficient for my needs on this project. And we're, now we're outside of Beacon Range. I'm going to have to go over to the Wither Skeleton Farm and see about getting some speed beacons because I've kind of gotten used to that running around in the main spawn town. All right, so now what we need to do is take a look at... Uh, there's an overviewer map. I can't share it with you. I'm not allowed to. Uh, this is not, not my server, so... Um, I can't, I can't do that because we might end up with spoilers and I certainly don't want to spoil anything for anybody. But if we come over here, we've got a, a little pathway over this way. And then we've got a bunch of, uh, that's somebody's base over here. So maybe I won't be able to build in this area, uh, creeper hole. No, I won't be able to build over here because we're still within striking distance of somebody else's base how about how about up there on uh which way this way i brought a bed with me as well just in case i get caught out here at nighttime while we're looking around a creeper somewhere close by that's right i mentioned it before i don't know if i fully explained it but i am certainly using journey map not and uh not ashamed of it we're going to be uh, making use of what's available. So here's a little bit of one right here. Let's see if we've got enough uh, enough room. Let's pull up F3 and G. Okay, sun is overhead. We need three by three. Uh, somebody's been over here. I just picked up somebody's XP. So there's one chunk. Okay, and then two, and then three and then how does this one go goes back goes into the water some not quite what we're looking for so what if we started back here uh no uh this one no that chunk goes in the water so one two and three what does this chunk look like okay yeah so one two and three okay so far so good and then one uh, so one two and three one two and three well what if we went right here i don't think anybody has claimed this area it looks decent enough yeah i don't I, I don't think it'll be a problem. We could go further into the woods as well. But I see some, some nerd poles hanging around. So I'm going to claim this spot right here. So this three chunk by three chunk area, starting right here and going over to there. So I think the next order of business is to get the foundation set up and then we'll get into the building. And I think the best way of doing all of that is with a third person time lapse. So let's roll the music and I'll see you on the other side.
ladies and gentlemen, I'm over here at, I guess we could call this spawn and it's not really spawn. Spawn is over there with the iron farms, but we'll call this spawn town. And I'm finding that Kondrick has the view distance up quite a bit. You can see the house coming into view and it's not really a house. This is a mansion. Okay. So a little bit about this. Hopefully you enjoyed that time-lapse, by the way. I certainly enjoyed putting that together and and yeah, it's uh, it's not really a house. This is a, well, it's part of a, a castle collection. I didn't come up with the original design. I was, uh, I was watching a Grok the Duck Farmer video. He primarily does modded Minecraft. And he turned me on to a, um, well, it's an individual that has done a collection of castles or did a collection of them in 2017. And this is based on one of those designs. It's the same footprint. You saw me laying that out at the start of the time lapse, getting all of the landscaping. Well, not the landscaping, but spreading out the construction pad. We've got a pig over there. Okay. And yeah, so the original design is was by or is by a guy by the name, or I don't know if it's a guy, but a person who goes by MC Noodler. And there's a collection of something like 16 castles for 2017. And they're all set up on a three chunk by three chunk grid. And so this particular one I wanted to, to try out. It was the closest that came to a Tudor revival type uh, style. And, um, and then I did some of my own changes to it. So first and foremost, the original design had a, an acacia wood roof. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. And then instead of the white right there, it was using white terracotta, so a slight pink. And then I believe it was spruce wood planks for where I've got the spruce wood logs. And so pretty much I kept the same footprint and then just changed out the block palette. And then one of the big design changes here, uh, it was just flat. So it was the terracotta and then the wood and no change in in layering or anything. It's just a change in, in the texture. And so that works some, but I wanted a little bit more visual interest. So here we go. This is what we've got. Now, what am I going to put in here? I have no idea, but I wanted to build this thing. And we're not completely done. We've got we've still got our landscaping to do, but uh, we're not going to be working on that today. No, uh, my, my recording time is coming uh, quickly to an end. I've got to get this out by the time you're watching this. I'm on a business trip and and so I need to get this edited and out to you and editing those replay files. It's not for the faint of heart. So anyway, we come into the front door here. I've got a little bit of redstone magic there to make it easier to shut. Excuse me, we've got a little bit of allergy stuff still going on. My eyes are kind of kind of uh, wonky. So I did originally start the build out there and then moved my stuff into here once we got this first layer done. So here we go. You come into a courtyard. I may eventually put a fountain right in here. I think that would go great. But for the purposes of this, uh, yeah, we come into the courtyard and we've got a couple of rooms down here. So we've got a staircase right there, spiral staircase going all the way up to the top floor. We'll come back to that. You see it right there. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. We've got some basic storage and a little note for if you're doing these builds. I originally had what, one, two, three, four and a half chests or uh, uh, really nine chests full of stuff. And it still wasn't enough. I ran out on some things. And so if you are building something like this, it's great to have the Schematica mod available so you can see your material cost. But... Uh, you should plan for a little bit of overage just for potential mistakes and losing blocks. But here we go. We come up this staircase into here. The original design called for green carpet on the floor. I wasn't such a fan of that. And then even down here, the neat thing about the floor design up there is that it gives you a nice looking ceiling pattern. So something else there. If you're not going to go with an interstitial space between the two floors, then you need to make this floor look good as a ceiling and I think we've done that here and I, I didn't like the green carpet I do like green normally but when they change the colors uh, in here the green just went blech. anyway 
Yeah, same thing in here. There was green carpet. No, we don't need that. It is perfectly set up here to be spawn proof. The original design was not like that. I think it was designed with uh, mob spawning of peaceful. But but yeah, anyway, here we go. We've got some chandeliers. Move those down. And we've got iron bars as wires. So this is kind of the look and feel. We've got this breezeway all around the area as well. Plenty of options for uh, decorations and such. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to decorating uh, at some point in the future. I don't know. I, I really don't know. So uh, a few things, and I've talked about this a long time ago, but uh, when when you're building something like this and you're trying to figure out the design, you need to come up with rules of thumb that you're going to follow. And so for this one, the rule of thumb is for the daub and waddle design, we're going to use white concrete. It gives a much cleaner look. And then for the, the wood, we're going to use spruce logs. And then for the outside and well inside of the roof too, spruce stairs. And then on the outside, you you might have rem might remember seeing the uh, well you can see it right there, the stone brick stairs just to kind of offset that. It was just a a single plane of spruce. Well, it was originally acacia, but spruce stairs, and I think we've got a much better look now. On the floor, we've got dark oak. And then split that apart instead of just coming in with dark oak and then going to this uh, checkerboard pattern. We've got it split up with some spruce just to give a, a little bit of different texture. And then in here, not enough room to do the checkerboard pattern. So we just go with spruce to split the two sideways up. And, and there we go. And every new section we split with some logs just to provide some structure. You, you got to keep in mind, this is a castle build. And so there's very real skeleton to the to real castles and you kind of fit the decoration in amongst that and the scaffolding here or the skeleton here for the overall structure is these spruce logs and then on the main uh, main section here we've got stone brick coming in providing the exterior kind of column so uh, we've got that right there so we've got the spiral staircase you see that coming into view now and we come up to a room right here. We've got a little bit of decoration, not much, but we've got some. And then we go up a little bit further and, and we'll come all the way up here. And of course it is raining and we can take care of that with a, uh, the command block magic. Yes. Thank you very much, Kondrick, for putting that in. And it's time to eat. You know, I really like the, the pumpkin pie, but it, doesn't stick with you not like beef I, i'm finding i have to eat a lot more frequently than with steak so here we go we've got our spiral staircase it ends right here and then we go into a little tower kind of mimicking what we did over on that one same structure and ending in a point there at the top to prevent mob spawning on the top and then in here we've got a slightly larger room it's cantilevered out over the rest of this tower but yeah plenty of space up here I'm not sure what to do with decorating. If you've got some ideas about what we should be doing with decorating, it's a little awkward going down this spiral staircase, by the way. If you've got some ideas about decorating here, do let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And hopefully we don't meet any baddies down here. It should all be spawn proof. Yeah, so we're good. Come out over here. You see the cantilever out over the wall and then up there leave it out you see that where it kicks out and we still have the same kind of rule of thumb for our our decoration up there so daub and waddle it switches into and i was thinking um we have any baddies outside hopefully not one thing i want to do uh, and i'm going to do this off camera and we've got some zombies that are going to be coming to visit but over there on the spiral staircase you notice oh hey buddy we got a little guy. All right. I need, I need my, I'm sorry. I went quiet there kind of focusing on that. I was not expecting to get, uh, uh ambushed anyway. So over here on the, um, on our, our spiral staircase building, you notice that we've got, uh, no structure right there. I'm thinking I'm going to bring in a stone brick column, but, uh, but yeah, we'll see. 
Anyway, some other things that we're going to be taking care of. I don't know if I'm going to record this or not, or just come in and do it, but we've got our road right here. We've got a road coming out from over there, and I'm thinking I'm going to bring a road in somewhere over this way and then bring it in almost like it was back in the day with castles. You would have a circular drive or a loop drive up here. We'll bring the road right in front right here so that people can can be received by the the uh, lady and gentleman of the house and then the horses can go on over this way and then we'll have the road go back over here and then meet up with the main thoroughfare maybe a little bridge over top here who knows i don't know still thinking about it but uh, do let me know what you think i'm i'm pretty pleased with this result we're not again we're not completely done we've still got still got some work to do and uh, it's landscaping and interior decorating but i'm pleased with it hopefully you are too and hopefully you enjoyed this a little little throwback to some replay mod action and uh yeah anyway do let me know what you think and that is going to be it for now uh if i've come back with a an episode three you will see it hopefully it'll probably be in a couple weeks again i am out of town currently as you are watching this and I'm not going to be able to record this week. And that means that next week's videos are kind of off. So just a little heads up there about my overall schedule. And uh, and yeah. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you're up to date with everything else going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.